Hey, what's up everybody? Mike here with another video review, and today we're looking at Transformers Armada Megatron with his little Minicon Leader 1. Alrighty then. And here you go, guys. Armada Megatron. Now, I mean, this, this figure is above and beyond way better than the Leader Class figure that recently came out. Um... I mean, that, that, that figure doesn't even look like this figure, right? Because that's what Generations is for, is you're taking a figure that was once not as good and then trying to make it better, right? That's what Generations is. That's what they did with with Rhinox, with Dinobot, with... Who else am I thinking about? Uh, Generation 1 figures in general, Sunstreaker, Re uh, um, uh, Red Alert, Sideswipe. Yeah, I can go on and on and on. That's what Generations is for, right? So, why didn't they do it with this guy? Um, in my opinion, what Hasbro should have done is take this figure and then just fix the legs. Just give this figure leg articulation because that's the only thing that's that brings this figure down in points for me. If you're giving it a, uh, a rating out of 10, it would be an 8, 7 or an 8 because of the leg articulation. Other than that, this figure is fantastic. So, you know, I don't know why they thought they needed to make that mold into a Armada Megatron because it just looks like they weren't even trying. Um, so yeah, and this this figure is loaded with just a bunch of awesome little features and and uh, yeah, lights and sounds. I don't have any batteries because you know I just don't. Um, they wore out a long time ago. But it would make lights and sounds. Maybe you would pull back on the cannon. I'm gonna make a shooting sound. Um, you could attach leader one up here, and it would make another sound. You can can't remember what it was. Um, I believe you attach him right here, and you would bring up this little turret or something, little missile launcher, and that was, would also make sounds. I believe. Um, but yeah, and this also fires these missiles. Let's see if I can. There you go. Fires both missiles. See, where is it? Where is it? Right there. So yeah. Mm -hmm. There we go. Just had to put that back. There we go. Back to the review. Um, other features. Uh, he has a lot of mini com ports. Is one right here, and then if you want to bring this up out like this, you can have one right here, then one right there. He has these panels right here. You flip the switch, boom. He has this panel down here, so you can lift it up and put it right there, or you can leave it down right here. He has this one right there, and he has like this Autobot prison right here where you pop it out and you open it up, and you can. I believe there is a mini con that can fit inside there. But uh, I'm not, can't remember which one it is. Then you also have this. I think is another mini con trap where the mini con would like drive up the ramp and Megatron would come out and you know bring him in and then close it up. Then you have another port right there. Ah, a lot of. A lot of mini com ports, a lot of a lot of fun little features on this on this figure, and it has a lot of good detail on it as well. Not just molded, but paint as well. Let's see, very nice. Very cool. Very. <laughs> Very cool tank. He also has these like little little pinchers right here, so if he's driving through a crowd of Autobots, he just, you know, slices them in half. Pretty terrifying, I think. Also very awesome. I'm gonna transform this guy. What you wanna do? Bring his legs down, like this. Okay. His feet forward, or up. Heels back. Stand him up. Bring the gun down and then turn them around. 
What the heck? Turn them around. There we go. And then uh, open these panels up. Bring the arms out. Close that panel. Bring this arm out. And then lower this. There you go. And like I said, leg articulation is what's lacking on this figure. Because he actually has pretty good um, arm articulation. He's like so, yep. He even has wrist articulation in this uh, arm. And head articulation. And even waist articulation. So, again, all they had to do is <laughs> just fix up the legs because he can only go out like that and then bend like that. Legs can't go forward and they can't bend at the knee. So, that is the only thing wrong with this figure. Other than that, I think he's a fantastic figure. He's fantastic to look at. And hes he looks beefy. He looks like a force to be reckoned with. You know, he's not skimpy, he's, he's, he's big. He's got his, his, uh, I don't know, waist cannon, side, side, waist side cannon, I don't know. <laughs> waist side. Uh, what is that? It's probably actually something, hey, it's leader one, look at that guy. Come on, focus on leader one. Yep, there you go. He's, you know, size comparison, he's a little dude. So let's take a look at that face, shall we? A lot of people take off the pincher horns because they're a little... I love how ridiculous they are. They're so big and just... <laughs> just they're ridiculous, but I love it. I love it. So... And he's got two molding Decepticon symbols, which is really awesome. Fantastic figure. Fantastic figure. You don't have this guy. I would recommend him if you can find him on eBay for a good price. So yeah, there you guys go. Megatron with Leader One. Alrighty then. Well, uh, oh, and he also has ports on his arm for more mini guns. Oh, and he also has a knife. I forgot about the knife. Yay! Pretty cool. So anyway, there you guys go. Armada Megatron. Uh, yeah. You guys have a good day.